Hey guys, this is Vene and welcome back to the ninth video of the C++ programming in Linux video series. In the last video, we have discussed about the assignment operator. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the arithmetic operators. And these arithmetic operators are the mathematical operators, are the simple mathematical operators that we use in our daily mathematics like the plus, minus, multiply, and divide. And we'll demonstrate how do we use these mathematical operators in our C++ program for doing these mathematical calculations. Now come on to this and uh, write a program for this. Now this time I'm going to open my G edit not like this but uh, by just by opening or start and on super bar I'll write the G edit to open my G edit editor. Now I'll open the file. Which file? I have placed over here where? Yeah here in the workspace and the workspace in the C++ and here's the edit.cc file. It's just the uh, uh, way the file is created. Here's the IS stream for input and output the using name is based on all the formulas out here and here's the main function. We, uh, we, uh, we are going to write a code to demonstrate the use of the arithmetic operators inside C++. Now Suppose we are having uh, some variable, say integer a, and we are going to initialize that using this assignment operator. I'm going to initialize that particular variable with the value, say 15. Now I'm having, I need some other variable, say b equals uh, some 20, and uh, integer c with some other value, say 30. Now I'm having three variables, the a that is initialized with 15, b with 20, and c with 30. Now I'm going to use the mathematical operators and uh, over these variables and demonstrate how do we use that in the C++. Um, now I need to sum up A, B and C and I need to store the sum of A, B and C inside another variable say sum and then we'll print out that particular variable and to check with if we get the sum or not. Okay, now create another variable say sum and we'll use the assignment operator to store the sum inside this and for this we are required to do some a plus b plus c thing now whatever the output of the a plus b plus c that would get stored to the variable sum you can see here are some parentheses that I made but they are just for separating the output we actually do not need it and parentheses itself is an operator <laughs> So here is the just the sum of a plus b plus c and that is getting stored to the variable sum and uh, just print it out simple enough c out uh, sum and l save it out uh, now we do not need to close it because the terminal window is open and uh, what if we can see whatever I have uh, made changes in the g added changes are made live over here now we just do not need to make whenever we need to compile the code we just need to switch the windows that's why I'm using this technique this time okay now come up here we are just required to compile our code it's compiled successfully run it now we got 65 when we add 30 plus 20 it's uh, it's 50 and then 15 it's 65 so the summation is correct you can calculate it using calculator but it's correct I know that now come up here um, as a sum is uh, correct and we can uh, see that our arithmetic plus operator is working perfectly fine. <laughs> now come up with uh, changing the sum and move on to some other operator like subtraction. Replace this subtraction. Uh, we can change this uh, plus to minus also but I want to demonstrate that we can use these operators together enter uh, or uh, alone or anyway in any way because these operator do their task but uh, uh, without uh, taking uh, different different variables or single variable no no restrictions are there in using these operators so I'm using a minus B plus C and uh, this time it is not the sum it is the output of the sum plus or in something so I'm going to print out my output over here and watching what's the sum and what's the output now uh, switch the window once again and uh, compile the program, compile this fully and execute it. Bingo! It's 25. What's going on here? Um, cat it out. Yeah. Here 
we are doing a minus b and then plus c so a minus b is 15 minus 20 that is minus 5 and minus 5 plus 30 is 25 so the output is 25 it's pretty simple so we have demonstrated the what do you say plus and the minus operator so in this way uh, by what for doing our mathematical calculations like that we just use this just write plus minus as in our normal mathematics and restore the output using that alignment operator and we can print it out now um, move on to some uh, more complex mathematical operator they are multiply and division if we go to the primary days uh, first we learn how to add the numbers then we go on okay something more difficult we need to subtract the number and after that we need to multiply those number on oh my god how do we do that now in this case we just need to say we I need to multiply a with C so 15 multiplied by 30 that would give the, as the output uh, just to save it switch the window compile it again and execute the code so uh, we all know that 15 3 is of 45 multiplied by 10 it's 450 so it's 450 it's giving perfect output now come up with replace uh, multiply with the division and uh, save it again and uh, switch the window Boom. now what I'm going to do I'm going to divide 15 by 30 so it's kind of weird <laughs> it's zero uh, okay then replace it uh, I'm going to divide 30 that is um, C by A that would give more meaningful output compile it execute it it's 2 yes because uh, 15 2 is a 30 okay primary mathematics oh my tables I know that now on dividing C by A I got the output as 2 and its uh, division is working fine but what if uh, I'm having uh, say here it's not 15 but it's say some 7 so what would be the output compile it again oh my god it's 4 and the 7 Forza 7 Forza it 28 7 for is 28 yes but it's not 30 how could it be 4 because it would be having some decimal value and here's the data type of the output that is integer and integer data type does not have the capability to store the decimal values now if we want to store the decimal value we need to convert our data type from integer to float now one more mandatory condition over here that if we are making our output data type to float then the data types or the variables which are making some operation they would have to be compatible with this output but C and A they are not float they are integer and for this we need to make these integers to the floating point numbers and here comes the concept of type casting what I'm doing I'm converting an integer to the floating type and integer and float they both are the data types I'm converting one data type to the another data type this means I'm casting the type of one uh, I'm casting one type to the another type and for this we just uh, do like that now look at this now I need to convert C which is an integer to a floating point we are just required to write like that float float now I have just passed that C into the float and that would convert the C which is actually an integer to the floating point in a similar way I can convert that A to the floating point also in a similar way now you can see that I'm dividing C which is floating by the A which is also floating and storing the output using that assignment operator to the out which is also floating type okay now save it close we don't need to close it we just need to compile it and now restart now we can get the output as 4.28571 when we divide 30 by 7 when we divide 30 by 7 we are going to get this as the output now I have demonstrated all the time all the four operators plus minus division and multiplication using some variable but it doesn't mean that we cannot work with these uh, operators using the numbers directly say I'm having some value say integer uh, x 
equals to some number say uh, 10 plus uh, 7 it would work uh, don't believe me just replace that output with the x okay save it out compile it and uh, execute it 17 10 plus 7 is 17 it's working in a similar way but we are using variable just to have some more flexibility and we would uh, come into the picture of using the uh, importance of using the variables really soon and um, uh, on the point of the arithmetic operator there's one more arithmetic operator and that is the modular operator and we'll discuss it in the next chapter because uh, it's real more time has been passed for this video and so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe